We are training wheels, specifically the left one, and here's our bicycle safety pitch. All right, what's the issue here? Well, majority of kids do not know the proper bike safety and do not follow the rules when it comes to wearing a helmet, wearing the proper protective gear, and riding on the right side of the road along with hand signals. So our mission is to put posters up in elementary schools that give brief information on general bicycle safety. So steps we've already done. Uh, we have done a survey. We've gotten a total of 81, 81 responses. Um, and primarily they were from parents. There's a little input from students. A lot of them going over if they've been in a bike accident, if they understand the laws of the road when it comes to being on a bike. And then we've made a plan on how we're gonna enact this and how we're gonna put up these posters to kind of demonstrate the proper bicycle safety. So people are heard, like I had said, there's 81 responses primarily from parents, but we'd sent them out to majority of elementary schools. Uh, 81 was a little short, but it was enough information to get decent data out of. So the results, um, a majority of people have never taken a bicycle, bicycle safety course. It says, so the red is no and the, uh, the blue is yes. So we got 91% that has never taken a bicycle safety course and that leaves just about 8%, eight, 8%. I mean, they're in percentages, but 8% of the population have not taken a bicycle safety course in the past. Um, but a majority of people have been in accidents as you can see in the middle pie chart. So we're looking at 60.5% and 39.5% when it comes to if they've experienced some sort of injury while riding a bike or have been in some sort of crash. And then there's mixed reviews on the turning signals if people actually understood them. And a majority of them, when they were explained later on asking what they were and to demonstrate them, they all had kind of failed. So they didn't directly understand the correct uh, hand signals when riding a bike. So facts, all right, we got some sad stories out here. We got 100 kids dying every year from bicycle accidents, and then we got 254,000 getting injured, and that is recorded. The amount of injuries that would happen unrecorded is probably substantially higher. I mean, you're not gonna go to the doctor's office if you scrape your knees, but you're gonna go if you break your arm. So that could be an instance to where these are serious injuries that are happening to these people. Why a poster? Well, we need something that can reach a widespread amount of people with little words on it so the comprehension of a sub fifth grader can be able to read it, understand, and then hopefully put into practice what is on the poster by practicing the proper bike safety. And this is the poster we had created. It's just kind of demonstrating that you always got to wear closed toed shoes. You always got to wear a helmet. You gotta follow those traffic laws. So if you gotta stop at a stop sign, stop at a stop sign. Don't go through the center of an intersection while it is not green. That seems like an awful mistake. Um, always wear reflective clothing to some extent if you're riding at night, just so people can see you. And getting the poster out. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have a form that is gonna be emailed to other schools who are then gonna print out posters and we're gonna hang them up throughout the school, just all in the hallways and the popular areas like cafeteria and maybe on the exit when they're going to recess. So we're also creating a video along with this project though. The video is gonna be kind of a parody to where we're gonna be demonstrating proper bike safety along with giving it a childlike information stance on what they need to know when riding a bike. And by getting the video out, that one's gonna be the easiest. It's just one email file that's gonna go out to all the schools that they can play as many times as they want for as long as they want. Once the video's created, it's created. So the benefits that this is gonna to bring to the community is gonna be there's gonna have less bike accidents um, in the youth, hopefully, that is the ultimate goal. Um, and then it's also going to make it a lot easier for traffic to flow when there's bicycle, like people who are riding a bike on the road um, and that everyone's kind of abiding by the same rules. So how are we going to meet our clients' expectations? We're going to meet them by, we got to look professional. 
we got to understand what we're actually talking about. We have to bring forward facts and we have to have a good engaging video all in all at the end of this project. And that is all.